Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a uh, given um, a, an actual graph of a line. It wants me to complete the table and consider the um, connection of the table and the graph. Okay, so let's, this is actually, this is from, I'm taking this problem from CPM course three, and this is section 4.1.3, specifically number 4-28. So it says, I'll read the, read, the, read the directions and we'll go from there. Another one of the connections in your representations of patterns web is graph to table. So in chapters one through three, you developed tools to find the table from a graph. Consider this connection as you complete the table below. The table is based on the graph at the right. So here's this graph. I've got this line here, right? This line represents, remember, it represents solutions to an equation. So this represents all the solutions to an equation, a rule. So I want, I want to take those solutions now and put them within the context of a table. So your input is your X values. Your output is your Y values. So, right. So this is the X axis here. The horizontal axis is X. The vertical axis is the Y. So where are, are those values? So let's, let's look at this. So negative three is the X. So I want to know what's the corresponding Y value. So at negative three, this is negative two. This is negative three right here. So if I cruise down and I look at where that point is, where is the Y value for that? So if that's negative two and this is negative four, then this one here is negative three. So it looks like it's in between, directly in between negative three and negative two on the Y value. So that looks like negative 2.5, negative two and a half based on my graph. So at negative two, we do the same thing at negative two on the X. Here's the point right there. That one is specifically, if you look at that, that is at negative two on the Y. So negative two, negative two, negative one is here on the X. So on my line that represents the values the solutions where is this that looks like it's in between negative one and negative two well in between negative one and negative two is negative 1.5 okay at zero so x is zero so then where's the graph where's the line and so it looks like it's at negative one specifically so at zero it's negative one and then at one at x equals one which would be right here looks like that point would be on the line there and where is that what value is that for the Y value? That would be negative 0 0.5 or negative one half. Keep going at two, where am I at? At X equals two, Y is at zero, right? It doesn't go up or down, it's at zero. Last one at three, which is right here. Where is that on the graph? If we look to see where that is on the Y value, so at X equals three, Y would be looks like one half or 0 0.5. So that's the table based on the graph that I was given. Okay. All right. 